friends, welcome or welcome back. So this week we've got a fun little addition to the garden that I'm gonna show you. I um, was contacted by Ollie Gardens and they wanted to send me out um, one of their beautiful raised bed, their corrugated steel raised beds. I'm sure you've seen stuff like this. I've always wanted one and I've just never gotten around to getting one. And of course, as always, I went way way overboard on planting so I definitely needed the extra space so I'm very grateful to have it so that's why you see all the sponsored tags on this video and everything it's just because they sent me the product for free if you want to know anything about the beds themselves all the links and everything will be down in the description box you can check them out and uh yeah let's just get to putting it together so basically this bed comes um in a box it's like disassembled and the uh, pieces are stacked on top of each other there is some plastic film over the them just to protect them you'll have to sit and kind of peel those off it's a little tedious but also if you can get it all off in one fell swoop very satisfying so once I got all of that taken care of um, I kind of grouped the pieces together there are small medium and large ones in my kit and I was going to build the longest and largest uh, arrangement so you kind of just want to like lay them out on the grass and see you know make sure you have all the pieces in the right spot and everything before you get started screwing and you're basically just hand tightening a nut and bolt um, kind of enclosure so it was you know it took a little bit of time it took me about an hour and a half I would say to assemble the whole thing I had my audiobook on I've been listening to the graveyard book with my son um, we, he did his final book project at school on it so we read it together very cool I hadn't read that one yet um, despite having the book for like 10 years. So anyway, um, I got everything put together and what I had to get started with was two bales of Pro Mix. I get that from Mike's work so I tend to get those at a little bit of a discount, not too crazy, but um, just a little bit uh, of a price difference. So I had those two and then I wanted to fill the bottom layer with junk, just stuff that will break down over time. Um, so I dug out what is like this giant stick pile in my yard where I also keep my extremely lazy, low effort compost, um, which is quite literally just a pile of stuff on the ground. So I shoveled out a lot of the compost from last year and, and like smaller twigs and sticks. I didn't want to put too uh, aggressive of stickage at the bottom, just in case I was digging in my garden bed and, you know, maybe get some splinters under the fingernails and we're not trying to torture ourselves. So I managed to fill up a little bit of the bottom. About one of those little corrugated bumps was full of just miscellaneous stuff that will break down. And of course I put cardboard on the bottom layer. I should have mentioned that before, but that's just like a weed barrier and eventually that will break down as well. So I had my little uh, debris compost layer and then I wanted to, I put in one of the bales of Pro Mix to see where I was at. Now, ideally, that would not have been where I put that bale. I would have put that on top of what I added next, but I just, I, I had no idea how much it was gonna cover, so I just wanted to get a good look at it. So once I smoothed out one bale of Pro Mix, I realized I definitely needed some more and some much less expensive material to fill it up with because, you know, you know, the problem with raised beds is that you gotta fill them and that can get very expensive, especially right now. So my amazing partner um, actually went out for me and picked up some topsoil and a couple big bags of like a generic, you know, vegetable and flower bed garden soil. Um, in retrospect, the garden soil came with those little plastic balls of slow release fertilizer. So generally I would not use something with those in it, but I, I didn't even notice until we had opened it and got it going. So is what it is. Um, but generally, you know, just keep an eye out for those because microplastics are bad. So anyway, I have my inexpensive uh, material here and that came out to less than $20. Uh, Mike said it was probably about $15, $16. He actually ended up getting a lot of them half off because they had holes in them. So if you go for like the open bags and stuff, sometimes at Home Depot or Lowe's, they'll give you a, a discount. So they discounted a bunch of stuff for him. So that was even more awesome. So now we're looking at less than $100 to fill this ginormous bed. So I got all of those lesser quality materials opened and smoothed out and mixed in. And then I added the final bale of Pro Mix over the top and we have what you see before you, a beautiful, fresh, ready to be planted bed. I am so excited about this part. <laughs> so I ended up over planting peppers. That's kind of like my MO every year. I always have this just fantasy idea of making lots of 
uh, hot sauces and pepper jellies and salsas, and I have yet to pull it off, but um, we're gonna continue to try. It's usually a, a, a problem of trying to get everything to be ready at the same time or a similar enough time or in, an, in a time in which I can freeze things and use them then, but um, you know, bless my heart, I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, so we just have to figure out what plants are going in the bed now. And um, I have a lot. We're gonna try to get a lot of my peppers planted. I have, there's, again, it's a lot. Um, probably I'm gonna try to plant at least 10 of these plants. And then I have these bonsai tomatoes over here that I thought would go nice with, you know, a medium size pepper plant, and then I have these basils um, that should have been planted probably weeks ago, but um, better late than never. So I might put these in between all of the peppers and tomatoes. Um, the only problem is I have all of those tomatoes left. <laughs> I don't have room. I think I have to give them away. I need to pinch these pepper plants too. Um, for example, See how this is just a long straight pepper plant? I would I would probably pinch that right up here, at least at the top. Ideally, probably would have done it down here, but whatever. All right, let's do it. It's actually going to be raining for the next two days. So this is a great time to plant these because this will soak this bed for free. Okay, friendos, thank you so much for staying through this whole video. If you're still watching this, thank you so much. Um, we are almost at 20,000 subscribers, which is like... Um, so if you have any suggestions for what you would like to do to celebrate that, please drop them in the comments below. Um, some people have suggested another Never Have I Ever uh, libations based game uh, and some other wacky ideas. So. I don't know, let me know what you guys think and um, I'll try to put it together in time. I think we've probably got about another month or so before it happens, so very exciting. Bye!